Basic routines from Kiev, the capital of Ukraine. My name is Viktor Fuso, and today, February 23rd, 2019. And I'm in the center of Kiev, and this is the downtown of city of Kiev. And by the way, if you have not been here, so you can recognize that I'm standing here at Khrushchev Street. And by the way, just behind all me, on my back, this is a Pesarabka food market. Maybe if you're a foreigner, you have been there just to buy some food, especially some vegetables and fruits. And also there is a base, big building, just this is like a quadrate region and it's here. It's called Arena, this is filled with the shops, there is a special museum and also hotels. Hotels, so this is a special place for foreigners. So city inside the city and just <coughs> if you look underground in, in this underground place, here also there are a lot of shops, also city under the city, because this is called Metro Hrad. Metro Hrad, this is a special city with the shops. Also mostly it's devoted to tourists. Only tourists coming over there and buying some souvenirs, because they are all expensive and it's called Metro Hrad on this pathway. This is Metro Hrad is written. And with, on this side, on the right side of Rishadik Street, so you can see the shop na named Roshan. And this is very famous chocolate and confectionery shop. It is belonging to our famous Ukrainian president, Poroshenko. Yes. And everybody knows about it. And definitely everybody enjoyed very much <coughs> visiting the shop in the beginning of the Khrushchev Street. Today actually very lucky not so frosty. It was very warm last week. Now it's a minus and it's a little bit frosty but sunny so I'm people still crowding because this is a little bit first signs of a spring sunshine. Sunshine some days were very cloudy. Yeah, yesterday was even a snow and then when it's sunny, people are crowding around, searching for something to buy around, or just for meetings together, or visiting some places. If you look around on the left side and on the right side, Khrushchev, there are different shops. Some of them do not work, especially in the first, uh, in front of a central shopping mall so called Shum Tsum. One big building is covered around with a special cover because it, this shop was destroyed last year, one year ago, and it's named now just like closed shop, closed building under the cover with some advertisement of a galaxy, something like that, or some notebook. Yeah, you see here, pretty nice and very sunny. I am walking in the direction of a Maidan or Independence Square. So if you have been in Kiev, you will not miss it. So this is in this direction. On the back of me, this is the beginning of Khrushchev Street. And forward you go. No, vice versa. This is end of Khrushchev <coughs> in, in Bissarabka Market. Beginning of a street and number of streets will be over there from European Square. I'm walking to Independence Square, Maidan. You know it from all the events five years ago. Tomorrow will be special events devoted to this situation. Five years ago, it's called Vicha. People will be coming over there celebrating it. Maybe. So let's see what's going on over there. Will be tomorrow. Some people, some nice dressed people are walking around. Oh, pretty cold. Huh. It's a frosty. Little bit frosty. Difficult to carry my camera. Some coffee, small coffee shops. Yeah, this is a pathway from a Zoom. And actually, most of the people who are walking around here easily recognized if they're tourists because they speak foreign languages. Yeah, like some of these two, this couple is coming. They speak in Swedish probably. 
So on the left side, this is a central shopping mall, and forward there is a central council or of our major. So this uh, shop, and I show you a little bit crowning people just before Kurishatik Street. Oh, there is police, armed police even with machine guns. A high level of security means high level of equipment and weapons. So stick and machine gun, good one, and heavy armored equipment. Well, so this is Central Council, Council as I said. And I show you a little bit crowning people around. Just in the middle of Kurishatik there is a metro Kurishatik. Very difficult to pronounce it. Before in Kurishatik. It actually was a, a long time ago the name of a forest over there. But now this is a famous historical place, famous historical name. Kurishatik. Well, and this is a building we built here in the 50s and 60s. In 50s, just after the Great Patriotic War, or World War II, these buildings were destroyed in the Second World War in 1941. So all buildings here were destroyed completely because they were blown up by guerrillas. But Soviet guerrillas just communists, they mined all buildings around Krishatik. So when Germans and Nazis came here in 1941, all buildings were blown up and destroyed. A lot of Germans were killed. And after that, Germans were directed a huge execution in a Babin Yar place where executed more than 100,000 Jewish people and Ukrainian people in a Babin Yar. So, and this is a metro station, exit to metro station, and I will be walking a little bit forward in direction of Maidan, because it's forward. And now I stop it, just for interaction, because a little bit cold to take this video story. And I show a little bit people around near the entrance to Kurishatik my metro. So you, you should remember this place. Here a lot of crowding and walking around people. Especially you. Here there is a small McDonald and some youth are just dancing here all the time, especially in a way evening time. And some people are just collecting money, others were waiting for the partners. a great fun for people okay thank you for watching press likes write your comments and ask your questions we'd like and see you soon on my channel